No, that's definitely not you. <laughs> so I found, I found, I haven't found this. <laughs> ah, there we go. I think <clears throat> I've refreshed it. So let's have a look. Ah, there we are. Ooh, better. better do that. Ooh. My hair's all over the shop, but hey ho, as they say. We haven't got no one on at the moment, but uh, there we go. But uh, yeah, oh, really sunny out there today. Yeah, no, it was really nice. It was actually quite hot. Yeah, it's sunny, but cold. Cold with it. Um, but uh, did you enjoy your dinner? Yeah, I actually did a roast. Um, it was we've had we've got a lot left over. Oh right, okay. And uh, we made a cake. Um, Muteba did most of it, and it, we put cream in it and frosting. Because you oh, hang on, where are we? I've just gone onto the. Ah, hello, Sarah. Happy Easter to you too. Um, Hi, Sarah. Yes, hope you're well. Oh, we got wonderful five nice people on our on our chat at the moment. Hello, Dawn. Morning. Oh, Hi, Dawn. Thank oh, thank you for sharing us already. Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah. I can't believe it's Sunday because. My football team, well, our football team played on Friday and now it just seems weird that it's Sunday. It just seems like Monday to me, but that's tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, strange. But uh, did you eat all your Easter eggs, everyone? <laughs> did you have a lot of Easter eggs? Oh, yes. No, uh, thank you for that, uh, Dawn. And thank you, uh, Sarah, for both sharing this morning. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a glorious morning in, well, where I am anyway. <laughs> I hope it's nice where you are. And I hope it's... Uh, you know, um, going to be a, another fantastic day. Um, I don't know what films they've got on today, but I'm sure they'll put some Easter films on. You know, most probably uh, Roger Rabbit or something, something to do with bunnies. <laughs> as long as they don't put on uh, something to do with... Uh... Oh, chocolate. <laughs> yeah, chocolate for breakfast. <laughs> Great. Oh, hello, Donna. You had chocolate for breakfast. Uh, Sarah, good morning. Hi, Doug, good morning. how are you? Uh, Doug's asking you a question, Paul. I don't know, do you, Doug? Have on, you I'm done ju I'm, I'm just, Doug? <laughs> sorry, I'm, ju I'm just reading Donna, what Donna said. Uh, reading you. I don't believe <laughs> yeah, I'll want more in depth reading from you, from the both of you. So, thank hello. you, Donna. That's really lovely. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Thank you, Donna. Um, hello, Leanne. Hello. Yeah, happy Easter to you both, Doug. Hello again. Oh, God, no, no. I'm always wearing clean underwear. <laughs> well, when I turn the inside out, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, how, how are you, Dawn? Oh, you won the Easter raffle. Fantastic. 12 weeks. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hi, Leanne. I was just, uh, just wondering how your how everybody's um, break was. Do, does everybody celebrate Easter? You won Easter raffle and won twelve Easter eggs. Whoa! Were they the big? Were they the big eggs or the little tiny eggs? Which ones were they? I can never, you know, because uh, if you got them from a superstore or a supermarket, normally they. They're only little tiny. I remember when they used to be really thick eggs, really thick chocolate. And nowadays they're so thin, you can just touch them and they fall to bits. But, you know, um, were they uh, cabbage cream eggs? The ones with the, that's too sugary in the middle. But, uh, oh. Uh, what day was? <coughs> well, um, I'm going to do my news read a bit for you, so that everybody knows about how how to share and all that lot. But here we go. Let's let's see. All right. Okay. If you would like a mini reading, please share our live publicly to other groups or publicly to your own page. You will receive a mini reading if you have shared our live publicly. We are draw and we are drawn to you. A donation will give you priority. Thank you. To share our live, simply click on the share button and select to either share with your friends publicly on your own page or go to more options and share to a group. Thank you. <laughs> Blimey, you're definitely celebrating Easter. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, one of them things. Hello again from New Zealand, Lara. Yes, we saw you yesterday. Um, thank you for joining us again on our wonderful show. And thank you to everybody else that's um, joined us as well. Yeah. Sarah, eight kids. You, you've got more than the Brady Bunch. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's it, wow. That must have cost them a fortune. <laughs> Hi, Andrea. God, dear. Let's have a look. Oh, let's have a squeeze. Nope. Yes, it, um, you know, like I said, Luckily, I don't eat chocolate, so I don't, I don't uh, go through all that chocolate anxiety that a lot of people do. You know, if I see a bit of chocolate, I think, well, I've had my fair share in, during my life. I stopped eating it about five years ago, I think, three, five years ago, something like that. And, it, it, you know, it does me good not to eat it, but everybody has their own thing you know but oh, uh Leanne, you've got nine kids wow Leanne, what have you been doing <laughs> nine kids oh my god sarah that will make you feel heaps better <laughs> well actually it's only one more than what you have yeah, 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 but it's, um, yeah, got nearly, well, you've got a five-a-side team and you've got some subs. So that's why I, I say to my friend, he's got a lot of kids and he's got, yeah, and he's got some subs as well. So we always have a, look, have a laugh about that. <laughs> mm. but it's weird that, uh, you know, but at least you know you've got someone to look after you in your old age. 
Dawn's got four girls, a 10-year gap with the youngest. Wow. What's their relationship with the youngest and the oldest? Do they still, like, are they still close? Because I've always wondered if you have that much of an age difference. Um, Because usually, yeah, they're in different cycles of their life. Uh, I I have one. I'm giving (laughs) away for free (laughs) home. The one that you have that you're dying to give away very naughty, is it? (laughs) For free home. My goodness, Leah, they must be very naughty. <laughs> you can keep them. <laughs> well, that's the thing, isn't it? You know, um, you, know you, you just have to get on with it and uh, see what happens because, like you say, um, well, at least you get, at least you know you're going to get chocolate every year because if they don't eat it, you you get it. You know, um, and it's like um, what Sarah just said. You know, she gets grumpy. <laughs> she gets grumpy if she doesn't eat uh, chocolate. So your, no, old, no. your oldest is 33 and youngest is 10. Wow. Yes. Oh, so it's very sport. I can imagine the youngest would be really sport. Obviously, they have a very good relationship. That's really good. Imagine. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Wow. 33. I'd be nice. It'd be nice. Yeah. If, you know, <laughs> I, I remember that year being 33. <laughs> no, Dawn, I can imagine. I guess even with the closest siblings, there's always times where they would clash. But, yeah, I mean, that's to be expected. <laughs> But it must be so nice, you know, when everyone's together and everybody gets along. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Now, um, you're older. (gasps) And the youngest is coming up to 21. Okay. That's all right. That can help you with the housework, Dawn. (laughs) Blimey. Yeah, but that's the thing, isn't it? You know, you've got that. You can you can put them all on on jobs that you don't want to do yourself. Okay. Your baby was an uncle at 22 months. <laughs> oh wow. Wow. Wouldn't that be weird? Like being an uncle, like, and you're younger than, you know, and, and someone else is calling you uncle. Uh yeah. 22 months blimey an uncle wow yeah but wow i'm just trying to think how does that work okay so obviously the siblings i guess are older and the oldest one has had a child which has made the very the youngest one that's 22 months i suppose an uncle yes yes oh my goodness that'll be funny oh yeah but i suppose No, they if they if he's an uncle, they would still be younger because he would have. Oh, no, uh, unless if, unless they your brother or sister had kids. No, if oh my goodness, I'm getting mixed up now. <laughs> I'm trying to work it out. He has well, three nieces that he absolutely adores. Oh, that's lovely. There's only one left at home. He's the youngest. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, we got In the. the- Imagine cooking for all those kids. Oh, my goodness. You, you would need a few fridges, wouldn't you? Imagine all the lunches you'd have to do and all everything you've got to cook. Oh, the washing. Oh, my goodness. The washing you would have to do. Oh. <laughs> Did any... What, what was that um, movie with Lucille Ball? Um and that they together they had twenty kids. What was the name of that movie? I can't think. Um, and they had to get a really big house. No idea. No idea. 
That's not the one with um what's his name? The comedian, the the bloke. Uh can't think of his name. Oh uh, no, I, I can't think of who he is, but yeah. Uh, it was called Yours, Mine and Ours. That's right. I, I, I couldn't, I would have been thinking about it. So Cheaper by the Dozen. I think that's another movie, isn't it? Yeah. That's the the one. Steve, Steve Martin. Steve that's... Martin was in that one. Yeah. I haven't seen that one, Doug. Is it good? Um, I just had a look at the Lucille Ball, Ball one because I would have been thinking about it and it was called Yours, Mine and Ours. Uh, I remember. And the Waltons. Remember at night time, good night, Jim Bob. Good night, good night. You know, you know how they used to say good night to each other? Um, in the darkness, you could hear it. Yeah, yeah. Night, John boy. Night. Yeah, that's right. Night, mum, right, dad. Yeah, and, and yeah. It'd be, uh, it'd be a bit weird, you know, sitting in, because they did have a big house and they had to live on the hill. <laughs> that's why they were so active. They needed to get rid of their energy somehow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah. But, oh. Yes. Good night, Mary Ellen. I forgot that name. Yes. Lara, you're on the ball. Yeah, it's a good family movie. Okay. Yeah. I might um, have to check that one out. What, the Walton's, Walton's film is, I, I, think, I, I think they made a couple. Um, but that's like watching, um, what do you call it? Um, the Hills Were Alive, The Sound of Music. They had a lot of kids, they had seven. Yeah, Dawn, I used to love Little House in the Prairie and the naughty one. What was her name? Ah, oh, I can't remember her name again. You know, the naughty one where her father um, owned that convenience store and um, she used to eat lollies in front of the other kids. She was, what was her name? I can't remember. Um, and she even had that look on her face that a naughty kid would have, you know. Um, uh, oh, my goodness, I can't remember her name. The naughty one with the blonde hair. And her brother, he was, like, really spoilt as well. Yes, Paige, now, that's it, now. No, Paige has got it. I remember now, Nellie, Nellie Olsen. I remember now. Yeah, remember how they used to get things from their dad's store and um, they would make the kids, like the other kids, jealous because they could have, you know, whatever they wanted? Mm -hmm. um, that was really funny. But, um, okay. Now, um, I'll just let you know what we're doing uh, for this live. Um, we're going to be doing mini readings uh, for people that we're drawn to. Uh, we just ask that um, you share our live publicly um, to your page or to other groups. If you make a donation, you will get priority. So if we're in the middle of an, another reading, once we finish that, you would be the next person. And um, all the details um, that you need for the to make the donation are in the pinned comment that I've pinned in below. But um, we're also looking if um, anyone has a Zoom login and they'd like to come on the Zoom for the mini reading, um, you can do that also. Uh, if you don't have a Zoom login, you can easily create one. It doesn't cost anything. Um, it's only if you've got a subscription that you have to pay. That um, So I'm going to put in the link there. If anyone wants to create one and they want a minute to come on the, um, the live with us so we can see them. You did get a bit more value through that, even though it's a mini reading, but um, we are able to see you. Um, but to be eligible for that, you do need to have make um, a donation, which I have put uh, pinned in the comments below. 
Hi, yeah. Brittany. Yeah, hello, Brittany. Hope you're well. Um, hope you're having a, a great day and enjoying, uh, enjoying your Sunday, wherever you are. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're having a great one. Um, Yeah, oh, let's put that on there. Right, yes, um, would love any messages. Yeah, uh, Sarah would love a reading there. Uh, okay, Paul, I'm going to let you pick someone. You pick someone that we can do a reading for, a mini reading. Okay, okay. yep, yeah, just quickly doing this, and I'll be with you. Two shakes of a banana. As they say. Right. Brittany, are you new on here? I haven't seen you on here before. Yeah, Brittany, I do believe is new. And 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 she was on one of the first on the on the show tonight. Um yeah, well but we're just asking um just we, we are doing for who we're drawn to, but we, we are asking that you um have at least shared our live. Yeah. Um and, and you'll see that once you've shared the live, it will come up with the word sharer above your name. Um, yes. And that's, if you've shared it privately, it won't do that. You need to share it publicly. No, um, yeah, I, I, I've been drawn to Sarah anyway. I've been looking at her name since, since she came on. Yeah, so. Sarah Martin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, if uh, Sarah would like a, a mini reading from myself and 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 Silvana. Yep, Sarah, be... would you like a mini reading? Paige, what are you doing? You're laughing at something. Come on, let me in on the joke. <laughs> yeah, she said yeah. Okay, I'll start pulling out some cards for you. Huh. We'll get to you. Yep. Yeah, uh, you pretty please. Most grateful shared. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. So what was this that you were laughing about a minute ago? Uh, page because you seem to be uh, holding your nose and then having a good laugh. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just strange that uh, we're, we are getting some wonderful, nice people coming on. We've got people that have been on here before, uh, which is great, uh, which I'm which we're both grateful for, you know, because it keeps the show going. Um, and it makes you know it brings up the the energies and everything as well. We we give out a great energy as much as what you give out a great energy to us. So whatever great energy we give to you, you send it back double, and then we give it back again. So it's just working round in circles. But the, the I can't say it, the idea of the, sh uh, the show is to uh, you know our our show is to bring people together you know if you're lonely out there you know it, we we yeah you, know, you can come to our page and just have a chat with us which is nice and that's the idea we have a chat and we do some readings you know and we're here just to make people understand that life can be easier and not all over the place as you know um you know, but that you just gotta focus on who you are and where you where you're heading. Yeah, but uh, you know, it's it's just nice that we I've seen some new faces and and everything. So fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Inspiration. Thank you. Thank you for that, Dawn. 
Yes. No, but you lot have the good energy too because you all talk to each other, which is what we want you to do as well. You know, like we said ages ago, we don't know who is coming onto the show, but those people are meant to be there for for either just because they need a good energy flow or, you know, an energy lift, or they need um, something to share with somebody else that's in, in the show, you know, and it just helps everybody in the end because when you go away from our show or uh, and you're around other people, you're going to give that great energy to somebody else. So it just flows, you know, it flows and it, it's amazing how it works. So it's good. So thank you for for being here. So, but I'm going to do my little news read a bit and uh, yeah, let, let's see what you, yeah, let's see. Right. So if you want to book a private reading with myself or Silvana, okay, please message this page and let us know who you would like the reading with. We will then send you the send you the details of how the readings work and schedule an appointment with you. You will find both of the links pasted in the comments. Thank you. Huh. Uh, Yep. Oh, I don't want that. Uh -huh. <clears throat> do 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 do. Okay. Um, Sarah, I've got your cards. I've got your cards ready. And that was really lovely, Donna, what you wrote there. Mm, thank you. <gasps> thank you, Dawn. That was wonderful. Thank you. You've got lovely energy too. All of you have. Mm. Okay. Um, now, Sarah... I think I may have read for you before. So I don't remember what I, the readings that I've done in the past. So like if it's um, something that's similar, it could be that you still need to go through that or it's a lesson you still need to learn or an action you still need to take if you feel that it is the same energy or the same um, message. But um, what I've got for you, Sarah, today is the Freya card. Um, which is all about being bold. And, um, and when I say that, uh, I mean like, um, like unleashing your adventurous side and, uh, you know, taking a risk, uh, taking a risk and um, being daring. Um, in saying that, I feel that um, that is something that is viable for you but it may be a challenge for you because um, you do what I'm getting here is I'm being asked to tell you to surrender your issue, like your challenges, um, your problems. Um, the angels, the energy around you are, is ready for you. Just release it, hand over the reins. And when you consciously do that, you'll feel a weight uh, lift from yourself um, may, perhaps to get this message perhaps you worry a lot um, instead of like just taking a risk and being daring as um, suggested in the bold uh, being bold card but um, you know 
everything is is okay the way it the way it is. Don't over worry yourself with issues. Hand over the reins um, to um, your angels, your guides, the source. They will look after it for you. Things will happen as they should, and um, you know you will soon understand. You'll be blessed with understanding why certain things have been happening. Now, um, I've got another card here. It, it, it's got here, Surrender to Play. But this is all about um, overthinking things. Um, so this is like a suggestion to say to you, you need to have some light time in your head, have time that is good, that is fun. Um, and this would be because, like, um, you may be overthinking things, Um you just need to do something that's fun and joyful as a way of rejuvenation. Um, that's all I'm really getting for you. Uh, there is something else that I've got here. Um, it could be that this situation or these problems that you're overthinking because I've got this lady on a sitting on a pier or a dock there that's watching the, the ship or the boat sail past or go away. Um, this is all about, um, you know, things coming to an end. Um, so there could be things that you're worried about at the moment. They are going to come to an end. But the, the best way to do it is every, the angels are around us to help us. Hand over your reins to them. They can't help you unless you ask for it. You know, with your free will and everything, you need to ask them for the help and they'll step in. You'll see things change. You'll see things just work and lighten up. So I hope that that helps you, Sarah, and um, that it resonates with you. So I'll be interested to see in the comments, but Paul's going to see what he can get for you. Okay, thank you. And... Uh yeah thank you again for finding our little show sarah thank you so much and uh yes let me see let me see what i can get for you and let's uh yeah <laughs> well <laughs> that that one jumped in quite quickly <laughs> the first thing I, I i had to say to you is that uh and i say this to a lot of people let's lift your energies Let's lift your energies because without your great energies, we're not going to, well, you're not going to be the real you. You're not going to be the real person that, that, is, that is supposed to be out there in the world, okay? You just need to start believing on your path, believing where your path is taking you, believing in where your life will take you. There's, there's going to be some struggles. There's going to be some, not heartache, but there's going to be some just struggles. There's going to be people that don't appreciate sometimes what's going on uh, around you, okay? But you will focus and you will get through, you will get through it, okay? It's just like a little blip in your in your life, okay? It does take time. Uh, new challenges, new challenges, new but new ventures, new new things that are coming into your life. I, I get something to do with work, okay? Um, the work side. It's something you've wanted to do for a very long time, and it's just been sitting there waiting. It's been sitting in a box, waiting in the back, back of your mind, going, it's my time. I need to do something. I need to get this sorted. I need to be doing this. You know, not just for me, for a lot of people, okay, because those people are going to appreciate the love that you give out, you know, that, that love of energy, that love, because your energy at, at the moment, like I said, is on a low par, but when you start to do these things, it will just start to lift and it will be, it will just spread around everybody. Like I was said it, saying um, not long ago, but it's just, it's just <laughs> amazing that 
many people do go through what you're going through at this moment in time. You know, the you know there, there's some there's some things you just need to pull back on, just so that you can understand it. Okay, you've got to, you know, there, there's some people out there that need your help already. Okay, you've most probably already helped them, but they need your help still. Okay. And they, and they want you to be there as a, uh, I don't know, what's the word? As a, you on tap, as it were. They want you there permanently, you know? And I know you said something about uh, the, the children and everything, but, you know, they've got to understand that life isn't just for them, it's for you too. You've got to make sure that when you, you've got to start taking time for yourself, just so that you can, you know, that, so that you can appreciate your life as much as what you appreciate theirs, okay? You've got to be looking out for things as well. There's things that you've got to be looking out for, okay? But it looks like also that people are looking for you, it's like something or someone from either the spirit world or physically, they're actually looking for you at the moment. But it seems to be you've closed your mind off. You've closed everything off. It's like you're, you know, you don't want this to happen or you don't want them to see you, but they're looking for you or you're looking into something. And I don't, it, it just seems strange, okay? But you're a private person anyway. You know, you're a very private person and you want to be, you want your own private space. You need to want to go and meditate. You want to go and do all these wonderful things that you know that are going to bring you back to the real you. Because I'm assuming in the past, before all the children, families, whatever happened, you were, um, you were, you didn't care. You would, well, you cared, but you were, you were more up on the up the ladder. You were more up the ladder than you are now. It's like you've started to, you know, and you've stagnated. It's like you've stagnated. So, you know, you've got to start to understand that life is easy if you want to make it easy. Okay, but it's hard, and it takes time to get things into place that's that's what a lot of people don't understand sometimes things need to be put into place and that's what takes the time but you're you're going to be fine you're going to be fine because you've got a strong mind and you know you've got some projects that you would like to do and you'll be fine you know you, you've just got to make time for yourself Okay, you just got to make time for yourself. Okay, but I'll leave that one with you, Sarah. I hope that resonated with yourself. And uh, and uh, yeah, thank you for coming through and and seeing us. Thank you, thank you so much for sh sharing our wonderful show. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Kiri. I hope I the name correctly. And Paige, uh, the sharer thing finally worked for Paige. <laughs> I think she's been trying and trying and trying, and it finally worked. Hi, Linda. Mm. Thank you, Sarah. That's lovely. Linda's on. I think Linda was on yesterday. Kiri, did I say your name correctly? Hope so. Sorry if I said it wrong. <laughs> yeah, it took a while, Paige. I know. I think that deser deserves a mini reading, don't you, Paul? Paige has been trying and trying, even in the other show. Yeah, so I did, I did uh, notice that. 
but uh, I just want to say thank you to, uh, you know, for Sarah and her wonderful comments. Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah, we, we can uh, give Paige a, a, a yeah. reading now, a mini reading. Yeah. Would you like a mini reading, Paige? Yeah. Yeah, we can give give her a mini reading. Yeah, yeah, that would be quite good. That would be quite good. And thank you to Kiri for, you know. <laughs> yeah, thank you for joining us on our on our page, on our little show. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. But it's strange. Every, everybody seems to have a problem with that. I don't know why. Mm. But, uh, mm. I've got honey all over my hands. <laughs> Off my ear. Uh, strange that some people can just go in and do it and some people... It just doesn't work for some reason. I don't know why, but hey ho, it works. Yes, and Linda was on yesterday. Yes. yes. Um, yeah. Right, I'm Did just we going do to... a reading for you, Linda, yesterday? I think we... Did we do it? Yeah, I think we did. Did we? Um, I think we did. Yeah. No, we didn't. Didn't we? Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I'd, I'd just like to say thank you to uh, Jackie for uh, giving a donation there. Thank you. Um, yep. Thank you very much for that. Um, we'll, we'll, after we've done our little reading for page there uh you'll be next on the on the in the queue as it were thank you Hi, jackie. thank you jackie thank you you know what i think when i i think your name i think of the song <laughs> i can't help it <laughs> i actually i really like that song actually Okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kiri. If you can see, if you can see, share above your head, on your on on above your name, then you know you've shared it. Um, right. I'm gonna. Um, Jackie. Um, while I'm doing this reading. Would you like to come on Zoom for your reading? Um, that way we can see you directly while we do the reading for you and Paul can see you too. Let me know anyway. And if you do, um, I'll send you the link. Yeah. Yes. No, but that, that, was, a, that was quite nice. But, uh, yeah, yeah, Kiri, right? I don't know if you've... Found a way. Oh, yeah. Right. If you would like a mini reading, please share our live publicly to other groups or publicly to your own page. You will receive a mini reading if you have shared our live publicly and we are drawn to you. A donation, oh, excuse me, a donation will give you priority. OK, to share our live, simply click on the share button and select to either share with your friends publicly on your own page or go to more options and share to a group. Thank you. Yes. And. Um, if you have a Zoom login and would like to come on the Zoom live for a mini reading, please send a message to this page on Messenger and let us know that you have a Zoom login and that you would like a mini reading. To be eligible 
you will need to have made a donation. The donation button is pinned in the comments below. Thank you. Okay, Paige, I've pulled out some cards for you. This is what I've got for you. Jack is now, already in bed. <laughs> sorry. Sorry? sorry. No, sorry. Sorry, I read that one out loud. <laughs> but Jack is in bed. Yeah. <laughs> It's already in bed. We should do a live from bed, I reckon, one day. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. So, um, Paige, this is what I've got for you. Now, you'll see on this card there's a lady on the beach and um, there's a shell on the bottom and she's holding this really big rock. She's about to smash the shell, right? Um, it, it's... this. The, the shell has got all this like music notes coming out of it. I'm just trying to see whether, I... but um, so like what I'm getting for you for, from this card is that um, you know you can always rewrite your story. You can always change the tune. Like that type of shell, you, you get to a certain sound or a certain music that comes from it from the seashells. So you can always change the tune that comes out of it. In other words, yeah, you can always rewrite your story. So I feel I need to tell you that because you may be feeling stuck at the moment. So the power is actually within you that you can. You can stop what's happening and rewrite, rewrite what is happening to you. You have the power is within you to do that. Um, I feel that you get anxiety, you worry about things a lot. Um, you know, it's when things, when you start to feel like that, just breathe it out. Just go through the breathing. You, you'll recognise it. Um, as you do this, your body will start to recognise, oh, my God, I'm going into that state again where I feel like that. Just take a moment, breathe in, breathe out. Um, you know, focus on the power of your heart and, um, you know, and have faith that the spirit is guiding you away from whatever is causing you to feel like that. But you do have to breathe it out. Um, I've got here as well that um, along with this being able to rewrite your story, um, you can actually manifest what you desire. The, the power is within you to do that. As long as you have a clear intention of what you're desiring, you can make it happen. Um, just from what I'm getting from here, even though you have that anxiety, that worry, you do have it within you. Um, you are strong enough to do this. By putting out your intentions, you just have to be honest with yourself what it is you really want or an outcome that you want or something that you want or something to happen that you want. Um, once you're clear on it, you can actually make it happening. It goes out into the universe and it does manifest. Um, you could be feeling, I, I think this is probably what you may be worrying about or what cause, causes you to worry is when you're in unknown territory, um, when you are doing something you haven't done before or somewhere you haven't been before. Um, the environment is different, not what you're used to or the people. And I feel that is what makes you feel like that. So you need to know that when you are in those situations, you are, um, you're exactly where you need to be. Um, you're put in those situations because there's something you need to learn from it. So you just need to breathe it out. Breathe it out and that'll help you calm down and you'll see that it's much easier to manage, much easier to go through. Um, I am getting here as well that um, your loved ones in heaven um, are wanting to you to know that everything is good. Everything is good and they want you to, that they're fine and they want you to let go of any worries that you're having um you know and they want you to feel that they send you their love and blessings so i hope that that resonates with you um and that it helps you paul's going to see what he can get for you 
Hello, Paige. Uh, I know you've been on a few of our shows and thank you for that. Um, yeah, and thank you for sharing our, our wonderful show uh, to let others know that we're, we, we're here. Thank you. And now let's, uh, let's tune in to you and, and see what we can get. Let's see what we can get with you. Oh. <laughs> let's see what we can. Okay. Something similar to uh, the back end of what um, Savannah was saying there. You, you've got a bit of a, a, not an anxiety problem. It's more, it's, it's, it's just, if you have this, it's because you, there's things that are just worrying you at the moment. That's all. That's all. You know, you're, you're worried about certain things that are going to either happen or have happened in your life in, in within the last, I don't know, year or I'd say, yeah, but it just says year within the last year. And it just seems to have carried on. You know, it's just like you've, you're, you're just not very happy because certain things have just happened and they're out of your control. But you have to just keep going and just understand that, you know, you can get over these things, okay? If you feel that you can't, you know, you're, you're just defeating yourself, okay? But you've got to remember that you don't have to doubt yourself, okay? Doubt is just a word, okay? It's just a word. You just need to move on, move forward, and just enjoy what what you have, because there's there's always there's so many so many challenges that are going to come forward in your journey, okay? And you've got things that you can give to people. You've got a lot to give in, out to others. Yeah, you you've. You've got to understand when you give when you give something an energy or a present or or, or something to somebody, okay, they'll appreciate it. Okay? When you're doing that, they appreciate it. Some they'll just go, well, yeah, okay. But the people that you are giving it to appreciate hundred percent what you're doing. Okay, and they are so happy with what you're, you know, what you're doing. But you've taken the time as well, you know. You understand that by taking your time, you will get there. But you've just got to make sure that all what's gone on in the last year, make you've got to make sure that it all comes together and close, close them doors off because those doors, you don't need them, okay? You need that lift again that lift again to, you know, it's like getting into a lift and then just going up. And that's what you've got to do. That's what you've got to do now. You've just got to start taking yourself up the ladder as far as you can go. You know, there, there are spirit around you, the spirit that want to give you a message here now with you, with me, you know. Never, never turn away from a problem. Okay, never turn away from a problem, and that, and they're saying that very prominently. Okay, never turn away from a problem because problems will sit there and fest, fester, or you know get worse in your mind. Okay, um, they're also saying the money side that will happen when other things start to fall into place. OK, you've just now got to understand that everything else has to be in place before the money starts to uh, come back to you, as it were. But you don't need to be a workaholic to get this money. You just need to do some good things. You need to do some amazing things, which you are already. OK, but you just 
you know, take the lead in you you seem yeah, you seem to take the lead in a lot of things, but you're still not understanding your your gift, as it were. You're not, you know, understanding your gift that, that you've been given to share with all these wonderful people. Okay. You've got to make sure that that you you start to learn all these new things. Okay. What I get with you also crystals, cards, you know, uh, psychic abilities and everything like that. I'm, I'm not saying that you you're just learning. It's just like you're you're going through transformation. You're going through a transformation. So you're basically everything. You know, just because of one problem that happened maybe a year ago, everything got put on hold, and now you've just got to start lifting it again. You've got to take it to the point where, you know, where you just keep going, okay? You've just got to keep going because life is your, okay? And you've got to make the most of what you, you've been given and what you have. So relax and change a few things in your life, do some tweaks, okay? And be calm in what you do and just, and you'll be fine, okay? And you'll, you'll be, you know, so many people will wonder why you've changed so much. You've just now got to understand that it's your choice, it's your time now, and you can do it. Excuse me, you can you can actually do it. It's just in here now and belief. Okay. But thank you. I'm gonna leave that one with you. And uh, I hope that resonates with yourself from both myself and Silvana. And uh, yeah, thank you. I like that one. I like them all, but thank you. <sighs> thank you all. Um, to ask if Raylene is still on because I've got something with me I was going to show Raylene. Um, so I just wanted to see if she's still on. Oh, Andrea, yes, okay. If you see her, oh, she is still there. Okay. <laughs> I haven't forgotten about you. I actually got it with me to show you. We, um, we're going to do Jackie's reading next. Thank you so much for the donation, Jackie. I just want to let everyone know um, we do appreciate you sharing our live. Thank you. Um, if we're drawn to you, we will do a mini reading for you. But if um, you have made a donation, we you do have priority. So we are doing people that have made donations first. Um, just before we start on Jackie's reading, I want to show Raylene something. Now, I've just come to the other screen so I can see what I'm holding up. Have a look at this, Raylene. Now, see, this is the all gone. See how it's got that copper, the copper there, and it's got the um, the black obsidian there at the bottom. Um, that's the one I was talking about that I've got. It, it looks small there, but it's actually like a good sized one. Um, and then I had these two. They're in like a pentagon, like a, a, the five-pointed star. They've got the um, the tree of life in the copper. I don't know whether you can see. Hang on. I've got that. The, that's a tree. And then they've got um, the crystals there in there. Um, and underneath are just like that. But some of the real nice ones actually have the copper underneath really nicely. I'd love to see yours because I think you mentioned that you have them. Yeah, do you I, did you have one as well? Because I have a feeling you mentioned it. I, I'd love to see yours one day if you've got it. But I've seen ones that are really, really nice, but they're just so expensive now to get. But um, it's always important, even here at the front, it's got that copper thing. But um, they're actually quite powerful. Um, 
and um, you just you always make sure you, you cleanse them and, and especially with the moon. Um, but these they, they're quite powerful um, to have. Okay, so Jackie, I hope you're ready. Uh, we're, I'm going to pull out some cards for you. And then um, Paul's going to see what he can do for you. Oh, oh. you've got the one. Okay. <gasps> You're going to make them. Wow, I'll have to buy one from you. Because I love, maybe you can give me mate rates. <laughs> Because it's so expensive. Are you going to put the copy of the copper in it as well? Yeah. Oh, we keep freezing. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. So I, I keep freezing. My screens keep freezing. Okay. Can everyone see us okay? Yeah, everything just keeps freezing. Um, yeah, yeah. Like I say, the screen is just gone. All right. Let me just check out the. Um, the I can still see you on Facebook. I can still see you here on the Zoom. No, I'm on here. It, it, I don't know if it's me, but it just keeps freezing up um and i don't know why i hope i'm not going to see you on the news raylene that you've nicked all that copper <laughs> but I, I there must be a special way of doing them because um you know with, with the power that they have in them so i've got no idea so it, it, very good that you're learning um to make them Okay, Jackie. Wow. Okay. No, thank you. Oh. I've... I hope you haven't fallen asleep, Jackie. Are you still awake? Yeah. It's strange that uh, I might have to come back out and go back in again. You, you can do that because I can still let you in the Zoom if you want. No, just come out of the, just come out of that page. No, because it, it, it just keeps freezing for some reason. That's all right. I was just worried in case you fell asleep. I heard something. I thought, is that Jackie snoring? <laughs> you know, I'm only joking. I think it's my Facebook playing up. All right. Well, you can go off if you want and come back on and I'll admit you back onto the Zoom. I know. What I, what I tried to do is redo my page and it doesn't seem to be working. Um, strange, this. But there we go. I'll, I'll come back on in a sec. Okay. When it... When it well, hang on. Page unresponsive. <laughs> you might have to, you might have to um, just go to Facebook completely or wait a moment and refresh it. Yeah, that's what it's doing. That's what it's doing. Well, I tried to re refresh it and it actually sent me to that page. So, All right. Now I should be back. Should be back. I hope I'm back. Right. Yep, now I'm back. <laughs> it's all come back apart from my wording. Oh, ding dong. But we'll carry on. Some I'll these, Jackie, some of these cards, they're actually just jumping out of the deck. Uh, when they jump out like that, even if it's more than one, and it's just funny how they relate to these other ones.
Come on, we can do this. Um, <laughs> I'm tempted to. Um, I've got another deck here that I want to pull one out of as well for you, Jackie. Um, it's just by what's coming out here. Wow. Okay. Um, let me just pull one out of here. Right. We're back on. Hey. Right. Uh, yeah. Sorry, are you close to it now on? Yeah, I'm almost ready. I'm just, um, I need to pull, I was drawn to get an, an extra one for her from another deck because of okay. what I asked Yeah, no, no, no. Um, my, I think it's my Facebook that was playing up and uh, okay. it just took a while for it to, to come back up. And okay. uh, I'm, I'm back up now. I'm, I'm actually moving in the Facebook page now which is quite quite good <laughs> yep always technical not very uh technical in myself but i try my best <laughs> yeah yeah it, it's just strange that you know i it was like i was just sitting there freezing but uh yes um I just want to want to. Uh, I'm ready for Jackie now to read her. Yeah, I'm out. fine. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just about. I was just about doing. I was doing thing, but. Okay, so Jackie, what I've got for you is um, okay. I've pulled out this card. It's all about surrendering um, to the natural beauty of everything and what this is all about is like it's all about taking a break um and relaxing like rejuvenating yourself um replenishing yourself um and um and just by feeling um the beauty and ecstasy of the things around you as in nature um just in relaxing and taking it easy so i feel that that's something you need to do um but and it's funny i like I, I it's just funny that i've pulled this out because of the situation at the moment but um I, i'm getting here that you'll see this lady here that's um walking up to the castle with the sword and there's um you know those dragons and things this is like that lady is a dragon slayer and that lady is you portraying the dragon slayer you're you're slashing the things out of your way um there are things in your life that um it could be career it could be personal that are just not are just not um fulfilling for you at the, at the moment um, and this relaxation, this break, this rest will rejuvenate you to go, you're going to slash them. You're going to remove these negative things, these things that are not resonating with you. You are going to remove them and you have it within you to do that. Now, um, I've got the clear, crystal clear intentions card and um, this is a, about being honest with yourself about what it is that you really want. That's when you're going to go about and you're going to start slashing the things that you don't want out of your out of your life. Um, you know, just um, when you do recognize and your heart sings to what you really want, do it with unwavering faith um stand by it stand by what it is you really desire um i i feel that your heart sings and you have that a very great enthusiasm 
when you involve yourselves in creative projects. Um, and I feel that that is the way for you to go. Um, and I think that is something that would be more fulfilling for you. Uh, something you just like to immense, uh, immerse yourself in that. But um, you need to also ask for help. There is help and support around you. Um, it, it's, it's like this card that I've pulled out, fellow travellers. There are people around you that can actually help you achieve this. And you uh, ask for help. The people that you can know that you can ask for help, ask for help because people will support you in this. But it's not just people. It's even the energies around you, the angels, the spirit guides. They are there waiting to hear from you that you want their help and they will start working for you. They will start putting things... Um, working on things around you to turn it into a favorable way for you. Um, so that's what I've got for you. Now, I've pulled out here. You, you, you'll you find that once you've done that and you're able to, you, you get all these bad things out, you'll be, you'll have that enthusiasm, that joy for life, and you'll think, oh, why didn't I do this sooner? But um, you are someone like here that I, this was the extra card that I was drawn to pull out. So for you, having a happy family environment, and I think also maybe not just your extended family, but maybe like an, a family of your own. And I think that's probably a desire that you may have um, because you'll see here, like there's a mother and a father and the kids and everything. I, I feel that that may be one of your desires that... Um, that you are wanting to manifest but and by pulling this out it is something that is possible for you and it is something that you can make happen so I hope that that helps you um, and that it resonates for you now Paul's going to see what he can get for you and it'll be fantastic if you could let us know in the comments um, if you resonated with that thank you if she hasn't fallen asleep. <laughs> no, 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 she wouldn't have. <laughs> no, no, I mean, when, when I'm finished. <laughs> uh. No, um, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jackie, again, for your donation. And thank you to, uh, uh, for, uh, <laughs> for, you know, yeah, thank you. Let's, let's see what we can get for you. Thank you so much. For being here and supporting us on our little show. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Okay. This is... Uh, This is something that I, I do tend to say to a lot of people. Um, when 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 people are in a, a stagnated area of their life, okay, people need to just understand that when we are given our lives, you know, when we're born, none of these problems are there okay no, we have no problems when we when we're born okay but when 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 we get into school or start to get older we start to listen to people we start to listen to other things and we start to take on other people's <coughs> sayings as it were okay a lot of people, there are people out there that just go through life thinking for themselves, but the majority of people uh, listen to other people and it takes time then to get around everything and start to listen. You know, you've, you, know you start listening to those people, like, like we all have done. You know? We all start listening to other people and then life seems to be going in the wrong direction. 
but then we've got to bring it all back and we've all got to start listening to ourselves again. Okay. And this is what you've got to start doing. And if, you know, the movement of what you do will help not just you, it will help a few other people also. <clears throat> okay. And when, when you do start to see the movement of things starting to happen in a good way, that's when you will no start to notice that things will start coming to you in the sense of uh, more from the your more gifts from not just the spirit world, not from the physic, not just from the spirit um, physical world, just from whoever, whoever. Okay, you'll notice things will just happen. Okay, things will just happen. And then when then things start to happen, your life will start to change for the better. And but you need then to start to take stock of what you have and move it on again to the next level. Okay, because there are things that you have, I, I do believe that you've done these sort of things before, but you again, you've just you, you seem to be holding back because you don't feel that you're good enough. You don't feel that you're in that place yet where you can move them forward. But I do believe that you're in that place already and you've been in it for a long time, okay? You've just got to start thinking about thinking about what, what will be and not what was, okay? Because some some things in the past haven't helped you to move forward but now you've got to start forgetting all the the bad things that were in the past that that you know a couple of bad things that were in the past yeah and start focusing on the now okay because everything will become like i said clearer for yourself for for people around you. I, I do believe that something similar to what Silvana was saying, there's something to do with family here, okay? And this family just seems to be popping in. It's like your, do I take this family on or do I not take this family on? Because I'll lose everything that I have around me, okay? But it's it seems to be, something similar to what we were talking about earlier where there was a big family okay but it you know it's, will i take it on do i want to take this on do i want to, you it's that choice now do you take do you go continue your work life and do that or take the family life i know some people it, it's a hard choice but this, this one at the moment, you're, it's in the balance. It seems to be in the balance, okay? But down below in your, you know, as they say, in your belly, you will know when it's the right thing. If, you, if you're getting butterflies, that just means, wow, I, you know, I'm, I'm ready. But if you're like panic, 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 then you know it's not the right time yet. Okay, but you will know when it's the right time. Okay, you will really know when it's the right time. But it just seems like a wave of family coming at me. <laughs> so I'm assuming this is going to happen for you. You've already made that made your mind up, and and you're ready. You're ready. It's it's like you're you know. But, but it just still feels like it's in the balance. Even though you feel like you've made your mind up, it still feels like it's in the balance. Okay? But you've got to keep understanding that life can throw you a couple of curveballs. So you've got to really be sure that what you're going to be doing work-wise, family-wise, spiritual, and anything else, you've got to make sure that you're spot on. OK, because if you're not, you will find that you'll start falling back again and you'll start to. You'll be basically in the same position you are now. OK, you but uh, 
I think you'll be I think you'll be fine. And I know you'll be fine because again, you know, the people that tend to say these, you know, where they don't think they're having a great life, they're the, they're the ones with the strongest minds. They just need to open it up again and make sure they're going forward. But you, you'll be fine and everything will be fantastic for yourself. But keep going. And uh, I'm going to leave that one with you, Jackie. And hope that hopefully that resonated with yourself. And uh, have a great sleep. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let us know. Let us know. Um, yeah, let us know how that was for you. Yeah, let us know. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. But thank you. Thank you so much for uh, coming to us and supporting us. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, thank you. Jackie. It's nice to see you on here again. Yes, it is. It's nice. It's nice. Next it's... time you come, you'll have to come on Zoom. We want to see you on Zoom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking forward to that because... Paul wants oh. to meet you. <laughs> I, well, yeah, I, I want to meet all the people. You know, it's nice that we've got, um, you know, these wonderful people that that uh, come to us. They're, they're actually drawn to us. So, you know, these our family, as we call them, are drawn. You know, you're all drawn to us. So everybody should be, you know, with, you you want to see your family members, don't you? Even family members you've never never seen before. <laughs> So, yeah. yeah. But, uh, no, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh good. good. I'm glad it did, Jackie. Yeah, that's great. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, Andrea, you've cracked me up. <laughs> Andrea, she's back. The child was in the bath. And I said to her, I hope you didn't leave the child there in the bath. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, they're in bed now. Fuel, yes, you can have some time to yourself now. Um, okay, I'll, I'll just let everybody know how we're doing this uh, tonight um, or today, from depending from wherever you're watching. Um, if you would like a mini reading, um, we are asking that you please share our live publicly. Um, you'll see that if you have shared it publicly, you will have the word sharer above your name. Um, so we'll um, select pe randomly people to do the uh, mini readings for. But yeah, we just ask you that if you've at least um, shared our live, we would really appreciate it. Um, but if you would like um, a priority reading where we will do you guaranteed, um, if you could uh, make a donation, I have put the donation details at the bottom pinned in the comments below. We are doing um, Zoom mini readings where you can come on the Zoom with us here on the live and we can see you. You'll actually get more value out of your mini reading. Um, because of the interaction that we have. Uh, so if you can, you want to do it that way, if you don't have a Zoom login, it's fine. I, I can post the link in there. It just takes a few seconds uh, to set up your email and password and I'll send you the invite. Um, to be eligible for that though, you will need to have made um, a donation um, with the donation button at the bottom in the pinned comments. So... Hi, Cheryl. Yeah, hello, Cheryl. How, how are you? Hope you're well. Oh, just share it again. It's on my wall. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, so that's we, lovely, Kiri. Kiri is saying such beautiful words. Um, she she really enjoyed Jackie's reading. That's Thank you, Kiri, for saying that. No, thank you. Um, yeah, so... I'm just, uh, Paul, do, would you like to select someone that you're drawn to for us to do our next reading? Yeah, I can, I can do that. Hello. Everybody put your hands up. I'll come along the line <laughs> and see who's up. 
Happy Easter, Carol. <laughs> oh, I've, got to, I've got to find someone who shared. <gasps> Hang on a minute. And you shared. What's going on I there? I, I commented to her. She's become a professional now at sharing. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that um, I'll, I'll let you select. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I keep being drawn to Kiri, but has she, has Kiri shared? Uh, she hasn't got share above her name. I'm just oh. having a look at this other section uh, because if it hasn't come up, sometimes I can see in this other page and I'm just having a look to see if I can see Kiri's name on it. Mm. Haley's um, shared us to lots of pages. Who's that? Haley, CC Haley. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, thank you, Cece. Um, uh, I can't see Kiri's name on here. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking for someone who's, who we're drawn to, through who's... Oh, also. Kiri, when you share on your wall, um, you can do that. You just need to make sure at the top that it says publicly shared, even though it's on your wall, and that's how you'll get the word sharer. Yeah, so people that have shared it on their own wall, um, that's fine. Um, all you need to do is when it's on there, you need to, if there's something on there that you can say privately with your friends or publicly, you just need to put publicly. Yes, yeah, ask, so ask Ange. She knows. Yeah, Ange. Ange, um... Ange, Ange will tell you. <laughs> yeah. Every, every, look. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure we can. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah, have you have you decided, Paul, who you want to do the mini reading for? Yeah, let, let, let's let's uh, do one for Anne. We haven't done one for her for a while. Yeah. If she if Anne, she's ready. Would you like a mini reading? Yeah, why not? Would you like a mini reading, Ange? Thank you, Leanne. Yeah. So, is that a yes? You do want a mini reading? <laughs> are you, are I'm you assuming that she does? I think she does. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Is she still on? I don't know. She oh, disappeared. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> she disappeared. <laughs> oh dear God. Show. Um, no, that would be nice because I, I haven't, like I say, we I haven't spoken to Ange for a while. I know I haven't been up to the, I, I've been up to the park. You're just not up there when I'm there. So, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So. Are you, yeah, are you up the park today? Are you going to go and see the park, be up the park today, Ange? Paul's going to the park today, aren't you, Paul? Yeah, about 10 past eight tomorrow night. I think I'll be shut then. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure, you know, we'll, we'll catch up one day, you know. I know it's, it's a bit chilly out there today for some reason. I think even though it's sunny, it's like winter. You know, it's supposed to be spring. But it's strange, the weather at the moment. But, uh, yeah, it is strange. But we'll, we'll, we have to get through it because that's who we are. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, from... Uh, 
from I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one because I'm gonna do my news read a bit. From time to time, we go live on our YouTube channel, okay, with the same format as Facebook, having a great chat and doing some readings, okay. If you would like to join us when we go live on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, the link is in the comments, okay? Don't forget to also click on the bell so that we are, no, well, so you are notified. It doesn't matter to us because we'll, we'll already be there, you know, <laughs> so that you are notified when we go live. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you and again if if you're having a little 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 bit of a problem oh look Anne's done it way if you're having a bit of a problem there with the sharing to share our live simply click on the share button and select to either share with your friends publicly on your own page or go to more options and share to a group. Thank you. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this one because like I say, I haven't spoken. Oh, hello, Tom. Hello, Tom. I know. Tom. How are you? How's Cherie going? Do you celebrate yeah. Easter, Tom? Yeah, well, you know, it's uh, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure he does. But uh, no, I haven't. Uh, in answer to Angie's question, I'm I am very posh sometimes. That's my phone voice. Yeah. <gasps> Leanne, look, you've got Shara above your name. <laughs> She was having a problem with doing it before, wasn't she? Yes. Yes, she was. Well done. Okay, no worries. We'll see you when you come back on. Right, there's someone now. Uh... <laughs> Rightio. Okay, and are you ready? Okay. All right, now I've got something similar for you that I pulled out for someone earlier. It has a similar meaning for you in relation to all these other cards I've pulled out. Um, it, it's the, this lady here that's at, at the beach and she's holding that big rock uh, and she's about to smash that shell. It's the shell that you, you normally would put up to your ear and it plays, um, you can hear the sounds of the sea. So like it's got musical notes and everything. So she's smashing that tune. Um, she's changing the tune of her life. She is rewriting her story. She's going to change the direction that everything is going in. And that's you, Ange. That's what you're going to be doing. You actually have that within you to do that. You can change the direction that you're going in. And um, I, I have here as well that... Um, your body needs like refreshments. And when I say like refreshments, it means refreshments of oxygen. And um, I feel like you need to open the curtain of your soul, of your spirit, of your heart, and just refresh your whole body, your whole spiritual self. Um, I'm feeling that you need that. It's like um, when, you know, a room has been closed for so long and it becomes stuffy and, you know, um, it's not a very good atmosphere. I feel that you are now at the stage where you're ready to clear everything out and just be fresh um, and also rewriting the way that you were going. You were going, I think, perhaps around the mountain around the circle around the same cycle and you are just about to smash it 
and escape. You're going to go on another route now. Now, um, there's a card that I've pulled out here as well, um, just in relation with these, that um, you are being asked to open yourself up to abundance because, and I have a feeling when I've done a reading for you before, I had something similar for you. Um, you will find that um, doing that, it's going to remove a lot of blocks that are in your way. Um, and you'll actually, you'll think, oh, my God, why didn't I do this sooner? Because things are just going to work out for you. Uh, everything that you need um, that you wanted to have happen is actually going to happen. But you need to do this. You just need to smash that shell and just change the direction. Um, clear yourself up. Uh, refresh the way that you're looking at things and open yourself up to abundance. Um, I got the gates of triumph and like that for me is that you know you'll see the gates open there they're going to open for you they're just going to just they're going to open for you to you know step out it's just going to be different for you things that are really going to change for you and it's all about success it's you'll see like there's a path there and there's a sun all bright and everything it's you know um opening up to have a very successful way that you're going on your path but um that's what i've got for you so i hope that that helps you Ange, and it inspires you to move forward and we'll see what um paul can get for you mm. <sighs> Okay. Oh, I think I might put that one on the wrong one. But yeah, um, yes. Let's see what I can get for you, Andrew. I ain't done one one of these for a while for you, but uh, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, let's let's see what we can uh, get. Let's pick up on your energies. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, blimey. Yeah. Let's just, let's just, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, okay, right. Like I've told you before, you, you have it within you to do anything you want. Well, you've got to make sure that you understand that you take everything on board that you're saying to yourself too, you know? If someone's trying to help you, you need to understand that those people are there to give you a bit of guidance. And there are people that aren't there to give you guidance either. Yeah, it's like you've got to work out which ones are going to help you and which ones are not going to help you. If you, <clears throat> if at the moment you just seem to be down in the dumps because again, you can't, you're not doing what you want to do. You're not um, taking yourself to places that you feel you should be going to. You know, you're letting other things rule your life your other things rule your journey okay you've got to think about things you've got to understand that where where you go is going to be special for you okay it's not just going to be something that is going to be off on a whim you know it's got to be something that that has to be at the right time but it's not that far away you just need to Make, you know, sometimes you just need to pull it back just a bit to let um, let yourself understand that where where you're going is going to be so special. But you've got to love where you're going, also. Okay, you've got to love where you're going. You've got to appreciate all the great places that are going to uh, come back into your life. 
okay. Um, I think you've said this to me before about going on trips and things. Um, I do believe that they'll come back in and and you'll 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 start to understand that life will get back to normal. Okay, but you still need to take yourself there and start to look out for these things. You need to understand that the 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 movement in your life has to be um not to not just taken with a pinch of salt you know it's not an easy thing when you when you uh when you when you want to change things so much and uh, you know if you want to change it all in one go it's not going to happen you have to take changes the changes have to come in in individual changes not just boom and it happens you can't have that you know and you've got to make sure that when <laughs> when you're thinking about stuff that you're going to be there um yeah in your mind you're already there okay you're already in the place that you want to be so basically you're going to ma be manifesting this these new desires these new places of interest these new places of accomplishment okay you need to make sure that you're doing these things to for you and not for others okay you you need to be private well you want to be private sometimes okay because you want you want your downtime okay but don't let others ruin that private time just just don't let them ruin it because if you if that is ruined you know or taken away from you you then just don't you know you start to panic and worry again okay you but you need to have that downtime your private time with yourself to think to understand to plan these new places that you are going in your journey okay you've got to plan these even write it down on a bit of paper okay even write it down on a bit of paper and then just take it where you need to take it and the big wording is keep going okay you've just got to keep going never never look back on all the all the bad stuff or all the old stuff you've just now got to think about what's going on now and all the new stuff that you are going to manifest and accomplish and get you there okay get on a bus just go there go go for a day out you know I know we're in a situation at the moment, but when it does happen, you you will get there. You will get to these places because I, I see you going to like the coast, and I see you going to like museums, and I see you going places of interest. Yeah, and you'll you'll enjoy it because that's what you're looking forward to as much. But I feel that you could actually live there as well. You could actually live on a coast or somewhere new just to get away from you know all the energy that you're around at the moment you need it you just need something new to to what's the word you just need it so it'll, so that you can appreciate the rest of your your life on in this journey okay but uh, i'm gonna leave that one with you Ange. And I appreciate you letting me read you again and Savannah reading you again. And uh, let us know what, uh, you know, what you thought. But I will catch up with you one day and we'll, we'll have a good chat. We'll sit in the sun when it is sunny. <laughs> but thank you so much, Ange. Thank you. You take care of yourself. Thank you. Ah. Yeah. Okay, you there? thanks, Dave. I hope that that helped you.
Um, Paul, I'll leave it to you to select someone to do a reading for. Okay, give me two shakes. <gasps> wow. I've had to turn the aircon on, it's really hot here. Yes, I actually did see. Did you see me turn it on? Yeah, no, I see you wiping your brow. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, so I've just, um, I've got the um, remote with me, so easy access. <laughs> yeah, no, you want, you, want, you want a device where you can have like a watering can above your head. Oh, yeah, I could so, actually wouldn't mind that right now. Yeah, so you just pull on a bit of string and, and it just tips over and gives you like a little drenching of water. Yeah, yeah. but it has to have ice in it. So it gives you a nice, cool, refreshing, yeah, <laughs> refreshing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, the, the person that I was looking at um, a minute ago was that uh, Leanne from, yeah, Leanne. Uh Okay. But uh, I think she, Leanne's after a reading, yes. She's been asking for one. Okay. Okay. Uh, I know I know Tom's on as well. Uh, but uh, anyone got a coin? <laughs> no, it, it, it's... <clears throat> you, the reason I... I, I I spoke to, said about Leanne, she seems to be the one that seems to be coming up more at the moment. And then, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm just pulling out for Leanne. Okay, okay. And uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, We'll see what happens with this one. But, uh, yeah, let's have a look there. No, thank you, Ange, for the little messages that you gave there. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's strange. But it's, it's nice and sunny out, but it's cold with it. Um, I don't know if you'll be going out later into the sunshine, but if you are, you know, have a great time, enjoy it. Um, I'm sure I'll be around at some point. And uh, yeah. What have you done? Have you written a whole novel there? <laughs> Has she written a novel? She's written right. like a whole book. I'll have to have a I'll have to have a look. Oh wow. Uh, looking for uh, uh, life. Um, what? Oh, well, when, when you say, say hello from me. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, it's strange, though. But if, uh, if, you, if you're new to our show, as it were, and you would like to uh, join us on Zoom, uh, if you have a Zoom login, and you would like to come on Zoom for a mini reading, please send a message to this page on Messenger and let us know that you have a Loom, a Loom, a Zoom login and that you would like a mini reading. To be eligible, you will need to have made a donation. The donation button is pinned in the comments below. 
thank you. Because, you know, we haven't done one today, which is strange. Uh, yeah, we haven't done we haven't done a, a reading on Zoom today. Um, you know, getting someone on. Um, you know, it, it's like we've said before. It's it's it gives you that little extra as well because you we're all talking and um, and everything. But it, it's also good. Um, that we get to meet the person behind the words. You know, it's nice that to to meet the person behind the words because we're so used to people just doing the comments. Um, yeah. Uh, and it, you know, but, it, it, you know, Hmm. Oh, so we're uh, doing one for Leanne, yes? There we Leanne, yes. go. Yes. All I can see at the moment are uh, An <laughs> Angie's, Angie's posts or comments. She, I'm sure she's writing a book. I'm sure she is. You know, I think if we took all the comments, she would make a book up. But it, it's nice that you do send comments too. Thank you, Ange. Mm. <laughs> yes. You know, I'm going to put that because you do need to. Yes. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. But uh, everyone that comes on here and that has been on here so far today, you know, every one of you is special to us. And you're all amazing to us because, you know, you, you're meant to come here. And but you've got to, you know, we, we give you the words, you know, when, when we give you a, like a reading or just even talking to you, like in a chat. You know, we, we can give you some words, but you've got to be the one that takes them, wor them words that are inside you forward. You know, we can give you guidance, you know? We can give you that little bit of guidance, and that's... But we love helping so many people. We really do. Because it makes our days go fantastic as much as what it does, yours. And uh, are you ready there, Sorana? Yes. Okie dokie. Are you ready, Leanne? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, Leanne, what I have with you I've pulled out this card. It's um fog like it's the fogged in card where you've got the boat. It's like the, the Vikings it reminds me of the Vikings boat. I think it might be Vikings boat because they've got the shields like the Vikings. But um, it reminds me of the Vikings boat and uh, or their ship. And um, they're, they're surrounded by fog. And I'm feeling that that is how you are at the moment. Um, and when I say surrounded by fog, um, it's like not seeing clearly. Um, It's like um, not seeing clearly, perhaps being maybe obsessive about something. 
um, whether it's about like a person or a situation, I'm being guided to tell you to turn this over to spirit, to your angels. They will deal with it for you. Um, you know, if you do this, it will actually help you with clarity and to even solve the problem. But it's just um, the way that it is at the moment, you're not able to see clearly through it. Um, I've got on here um, this card here with the mermaids there out in space and everything, and they're sort of like cautious because they're seeing the, um, the spaceship. This is like, um, and you'll see they're doing like a ring around the rosy. I don't know if you know that um, nursery rhyme from childhood, but it's all about not being afraid to sing, um, not being afraid to do your thing. Um, I, I've got here... I've pulled out the fertility card, but it's not necessarily meaning that you'll be giving birth to a child, but it's more um, on giving birth or rebirth of an idea. So, and or something that you used to do, rebirthing that. But there is, would be something new that will be coming in for you to do. But um, I feel that what I'm getting from here as well is that um, you also need to go out and just get fresh air um, just to have that clearing um, and, and to connect with nature, uh, relieving stress, uh, stress and which will help you in the creation of the new ideas or rebirthing something. Um, but... Um, that's all I'm really getting for you. So I hope that that helps you, Leanne, um, and that it, it, it resonates. The overactive brain. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I'll show you. I've got surrender obsessive thinking. <laughs> so that's what that is. It's when, you, like, you really think things about either a person or a situation. You just, you just roll it, yeah. So overactive brain, yeah, that could be part of it. <laughs> But um, we'll see if Paul can get something for you. Mm. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yep. Um, yeah, let, let's see what what I can get for yourself there, Leanne. And, uh, yeah, let me just tune in there. <sighs> Just tune in. Come on. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Right. The first thing that I was showing me yourself was huh, plenty of walls, as in walls that you know um, you put up to block block things that to to stop people seeing who you are. You know things that. You know, you put you put these walls up, and it's like these walls are getting higher and higher at the moment. But you've got to start knocking these walls down. You've got to stop. You've got to put a door in this wall and get out of it, because the longer you stay there, the longer these the walls will stay there, and the longer these problems will occur. Okay, you've got to make sure that you can push through. Yeah, you, you don't want to be sitting in the corner going round and round in circles all the time. You want to make sure that where you're going is going to be um, a wonderful place, okay? You've got to start chipping, like I say at that wall. You've got to start chipping it out and you've got to make sure that that door opens up and it's the start of a new life, basically, because the more walls that actually are presented in, are placed in front of you, the longer it takes to come out of it. So you, this, this wall I can see has gone up. Okay. How many of these walls are in front of you? Wow. You've just got to start bringing them back. Okay. But you need to start to understand that problems that are in life build these walls for you as well, 
Okay, I, I'm being told that there's some paperwork that's to, uh, that needs to be filled or filled in at the moment, and you, it's like you don't want to take it on. You don't want to do it, or there's a problem where you just can't fill some of it in. What you need to do is ask somebody, okay, and they'll help you. They'll go through this paperwork with you, okay, and they will understand that uh, that you know that it's not just you that's always had you know because these problems with this certain paperwork. You just need to now take it forward and do this, okay. You will need, okay, you will find your way. Don't worry. You will definitely find your way out of these problems, okay? You will definitely find your way out of these problems, but you've got to be strong enough, like I said, to push these walls through, to get these walls out of the way. Put the doors in the walls if you have to and just so you can get out. You, but Sometimes you... You have found the door, and but you haven't found the key to open that door. Okay, by the but with, with all this energy that you're putting forward to open these doors, okay, you're not finding the key, and that key is important because it takes it to the next part of your journey. Okay, the money side of your life, don't <laughs> don't worry about that either. That will that will happen, okay? There are, I think, so why I mentioned this one about the spirit coming forward and helping you with that. Um, that that will happen. That will come forward and that will um, be there for you when you need it. But don't worry your, yourself about that, okay? Don't worry about that because that's. Even though you feel it's a big problem, it's only a small problem. There are, you know, you've got to get yourself out of that situation first of um, the, with the walls, okay? Once you get out of that, the walls thing, the money and your life will start to move. And it's like I'm repeating myself, but this is, this is the main thing. You've got to make sure that if you're in a good place, Everybody else around you will be in a good place too. Okay, everybody else around you will be amazing with you. Okay, but never be scared to go out into public, into the public, because if you do, if you worry yourself, it feels like you you're got that. It is. It's like it is. It's like an anxiety where you can't push forward and you you just look at people outside the window okay you need to get out into public now into the public you need to get into some groups okay you need to get into some groups and this will help you as well because a lot of these things that I've been talking about a lot of people can help you with you know like I say you need to go into these situations we are put into these situations at, at some points in our life, okay? But you then need to make sure that you're strong enough to to get through them, okay? But, uh, you know, both yourself and other people around you that are in your life at the moment are going... <laughs> You both need to, I know this is going to sound a bit over over the top. Someone's actually telling me to say this. You need a good kick up the bomb sometimes to say, you know, to make sure that you're, that you're um, going in the right direction because it's like you, you start to go brick wall, start to go brick wall, come back, sit back, oh, oh, what's going, panic, panic, panic. Never panic. The panics. If once you press that panic button, then then you're you're being defeated by yourself, okay? And you've now got to start to live. You've got to start to live, but you've got to get them walls down first. 
you have to get them walls down because you're not going to get anywhere without those walls um, being stood there. Okay. Everything will come together if you want it to. Okay. But uh, I'm going to leave that one with you and I'm going to let you uh, go and enjoy the rest of your day and start working out a plan in your mind and, and which direction you're going to go. You, you will find it. It's just that you, if you've got five or six boxes you've got to go, go to, you've got to find the right box and that, I'll open that door. Yeah? Stop worrying about the small things and start giving that energy to moving you forward. Okay? So thank you, Leanne. And thank you for coming and supporting our little show. Thank you so much. Thank you. You have a great day. You have a great day. Thank you. That was great. That was fantastic. Now, I just wanted to let everyone know if you would like to book a private reading with myself or with Paul, um, please message this page and let us know who you would like the private reading with and we'll then send you the details of what's involved. If, you, if that resonates with you, if you're happy with that, we'll schedule an appointment with you. And um, I had, uh, no, I actually haven't posted the links to both our pages. I'll just quickly do that now. Um, so the page that we're currently on is Paul's page. I've just put the link there so that you can see that. And you're most welcome, Leanne. And I will just put in the link to my page, which is Enchanted Oracle Readings. But um, you can message this one, we'll both get it. Or, um, yeah, just let us know, and you'll be able to have a private reading and, uh, you know, an extended period of time. And um, we just focus on you and um, give you the messages that we're guided to give you. But I uh, just want to thank everybody that's joined us uh, for this live. Thank you so much uh, for supporting us and coming on and, um, you know, being part of what we do. We really appreciate it. It's so nice. And I hope everybody, like, has been able to have a break um, at this time of the year for Easter, whether you celebrate it or if you don't, even if you just had a break, that would be lovely. Um, Paul, did you want to say something before we go? No, I just want to say massive, massive thank yous to everyone that's uh, come to our show today and, and um, you know, appreciated what we've done for them and, and the great comments and basically everything that... They are, you know, um, we try our best um, to give them the best that we can. And I appreciate them letting us do something that we enjoy, you know, giving them a, like a great message, you know, from the spirit world. Um, yeah, I'm grateful that we can do this. And I appreciate everybody for the happy faces and everything. So thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm, I'm sure we'll see you on the next one when we when we come on next. Yeah, we're on Tuesday. So we'll be back on on Tuesday about this time. And it'll be on my page, Enchanted Oracle Readings. Um, and if you're not already on there, I just did, I posted the link to my page so if you like, and uh, you'll be notified when we go on live. Okay, so big kiss to everybody, and um, we'll see you next time. You take Bye. care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.